Functional dyspepsia is a very common condition. It affects around 20% of world population. It means one in five. Uh, it usually affects stomach or small intestine and most common symptom is upper abdominal discomfort or pain. Usually it's postprandial. It means af pain after eating. Early cessation. It means um, feeling of uh, feeling of fullness even you did not finish your meal epigastric pain and burning sensation uh, excessive belching and nausea this is common symptoms of functional dyspepsia functional dyspepsia is diagnosed only after you exclude other diagnosis after you exclude peptic ulcer after after you exclude uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease and helicobacter pylori infection so it's important that it's upper abdominal pain upper abdominal pain important important characteristic of functional dyspepsia and functional dyspepsia pain lasts for several months and sometimes several years uh, so it's chronic pain and what is possible explanation? Exact cause of functional dyspepsia is not known, but uh, high probability it is correlated with delayed or rapid emptying or em emptying of the stomach content. It means it, 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 uh, it's related of kinetic of stomach uh, and increased sensitivity of gastric distension is also important. When food in the gastric, gastric distension happens and if uh, there is hypersensitivity, you can uh, feel pain. That's a possible explanation. Uh, also low grade inflammation. For example, a person person has some infection for example helicobacter pylori but this inflammation is so microscopic that you can't this you you can diagnose it with endoscopy then it can be low grade inflammation uh, cause this pain it's not uh, not peptic ulcer yet not uh, gastritis uh, picture yet but it's low grade inflammation and it can cause functional dyspepsia uh, also, stress and anxiety uh, can change gut brain communication and exacerbate pain. So, stress and anxiety is important. Now, let's say what is risk factors. Um, risk factors of functional dyspepsia is helicobacter pylori infection, psychological stress and anxiety, rapid eating can be caused also, and high fat meals high fat meals is important risk factor uh, diagnosis as we said diag uh, it is diagnosed uh, clinical picture and clinical image of course and exclude other conditions like helicobacter pylori infections gastric and em emptying endoscopy peptic ulcer and gastritis and what is treatment first line treatment is proton pump inhibitor such as omeprazole a second line treatments if this omeprazole is not effect effective pro prokinetic agents such as uh, metoclopramide and domper domperidone are used uh, also sometimes tri tricyclic antidepressants such as amitriptyline is used uh, uh, and for example if if uh, there is uh, delayed emptying of gastric then prokinetic agents are effective usually but in most cases omeprazole or lansoprazole or pantoprazole are effective if psychological component is higher than uh, tricyclic antidepressants are more effective uh, that's um, the functional dyspepsia functional dyspepsia is very common that's why when patients come with chronic pain especially upper abdominal pain and there is no sign of um, gastroesophageal reflux disease or um, peptic ulcer disease we can consider functional dyspepsia because it's very common condition thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now